Today, I'm gonna be fishing this loaded neighborhood pond for giant spring bass. Welcome back to TCT Bass Fishing, ladies and gentlemen. And today we are here at a pond that we call Overliable. And this pond is absolutely juiced up. And after rain, it is absolutely insane. And that is actually just exactly what happened. It is about 7.30 in the morning and through the night, it was absolutely pouring. And I don't know if you can tell, but man, you can tell right here, this pond is just completely overflowed and just too much water in this pond and when that happens at this pond these fish get super active and just love to eat we came out here one time and did this we caught 15 to 20 bass and we're hoping to do the same thing today and we also caught a five pounder that last time and hopefully we can do that today most importantly that would be absolutely awesome but man make sure to stay tuned we're gonna catch a lot of fish today and hopefully a lot of good fish as well so make sure to stay tuned make sure you please like subscribe and enjoy the video and i'll see you at the water let's go All right, you guys, good morning, man. We're gonna start off here with the wacky rig. This pond absolutely gets destroyed by the wacky rig. And post rain, like we just had, as you can tell, this pond's obviously over flooded. And uh, normally after rain in the morning and wacky rig at this pond specifically is just absolutely insane. If we got a first cast bass here, it wouldn't even surprise me. That's how crazy this place is in the morning. It's actually really crazy. Look at this. Look at this. This is what I'm saying. First cast bass, like I just literally said. That's crazy. This place is wicked in the morning. That is absolutely epic, you guys. First cast bass to start the day. That is literally, oh my gosh, that was inches away. Not even an inch. Like micrometers away from his eye. Ooh, that was close. Let's get the pliers out of this badium backpack get you situated and get this hook out of you there we go guys hooks out just like that pretty uh pretty nice and easy there we're gonna get him right back in the water and keep rocking and rolling man little chunky bass probably full of eggs getting ready for that spawn let's get him back in the water no problemo right here Woo! a little dance for me all right, you guys, first cast bass. As I literally predicted, that was pretty crazy. Like I was saying, man, this pond post rain, something about it post rain in the morning. This place is absolutely super active. It's actually crazy. So, man, hopefully we can catch like 15 fish, man. Last time we came here, like I was saying, we had about 15, 17, 18 fish. It was insane. So hopefully we can do that today and top it off with a kicker, like a five pounder or something like that. So I'll stay tuned. We're gonna get right back out there and we're gonna keep fishing and keep catching these bass. Let's go. All right, let's see, let's give it a cast. Just caught that first fish of the day. Awesome catch. Little guy, little built up, getting ready for spawn. But man, first cast bass is always a great way to start the day. Fun way to start the day. Get on these fish early, find out what works early. It's always great. Here we go, get another one. Ooh, he's a little fighter. He's going. There we go. He's just about to jump again too. <laughs> As you could probably see there. He was getting ready to jump again. Where's the hook at? Oh, okay. Didn't see it, I didn't want to stick my hand in there. Get my finger caught in the hook for, oh wow, came out pretty, pretty easy. But all right, man, that's the second fish today. Let's take a, let's take a look at this second fish on the Canon camera. It's gonna be a beautiful fish. Let's go. All right, you guys, second fish of the day right here. Absolute beautiful fish. A little bit better than the last one, a little bit bigger than the last one, but again, a beautiful fish nonetheless. We're gonna get a good release on this fish and get him right back in the water where we caught him and keep catching these bass. Hopefully we can put up some good numbers like we did last time we were here. Let's go find out. Let's go. Second fish of the day. Good little fish here, not very thick, but he's a little longer. We're gonna get him right back in the water here on a beautiful release on this beautiful largemouth bass. Send him his way right back in the water. Let's go. 
All right, you guys, that is the second fish of the day already on the Wacky Rig Senko. And we still have our Senko that we started out with, so that's always good. We're going to go another cast here in this corner. This corner produces a lot of numbers for us. And, I mean, so far it's doing great. And I think we have another fish. What in the, what in the world? Another one. That is a third fish. Oh, I completely missed the line. And I missed it again. All right. All right, there we go. Third fish of the morning, man, just like that. Man, the numbers... Like I said, man, the numbers can pile up at this pond super fast and in a hurry. But we're going to be chasing that big fish that's in this pond. We've caught him before. We don't know if he's the only one. But, man, that's another... Oh, my gosh. Another good fish. We're going to get him right back in the water right here, right now. He's got little cuts on the tail there, as you can see. But, man, beautiful fish nonetheless. Get him right back in the water. And keep rolling and try to find some bigger fish, man, because this pond is a great numbers pond. But we're still hunting for that big, that big, beautiful fish. Let's keep going and let's keep trying to catch him. Let's go. All right, you guys, that's the third fish of the day on the Wacky Rig Senko here. Beautiful setup and a beautiful lure that just straight up catches fish. And it honestly never fails. But man, that's three already in about five minutes. The numbers are adding up here pretty quick and in a hurry. But hopefully they keep on coming because, man, fish can shut off so fast. And it's absolutely sucks to oh wait 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 is this is that a school of bait right there that is a school of bait we're gonna cast in that they're right surfacing above the water school of bait was surfacing right there you can kind of see the ripples kind of coming but it was like i don't know how to explain it i guess ripples but normally when that happens there's a bass following that school of bait and you can only throw something in that area and you can normally catch one i guess not in this case but normally you can realistically the better bet here would be picking up a spinner bait and throwing it in that area we'll do it for the heck of it we're gonna pick up that spinner bait over here and throw it right in the school of bait because it kind of blends in with these with these bait fish and uh, my spinner baits obviously gonna be a lot more vibrant and colorful and maybe that'll get a strike out of a fish maybe maybe not who knows there's only one way to find out oh it's an alligator gar I don't know if y'all saw that but there was an alligator gar that just came up Took a nice hit at the water. That's a fish. Oh yeah. Oh, spinnerbait bass. Let's go. All sorts of ways to catch them out here. And this is now the second bait we've caught them with on our fourth fish of the day. Check that guy out, y'all. On the War Eagle spinnerbait, my favorite spinnerbait, hands down, like I've said many times before, a beautiful, healthy, largemouth bass right there. Just like that, you guys. Bait is out. Let's take a look at this one on the camera, man. This is a beautiful looking fish. All right, you guys, our fourth fish of the day already. We've only been here for probably like 10 minutes. Another good little fish, nothing big and nothing crazy, but a beautiful, healthy, largemouth bass. Can never complain about that, man. Check this fish out right here absolute beauty we're gonna get him right back in the water and keep catching him and keep going at him let's get it all right you guys fourth fish of the day right here another beautiful bass not very thick but he's getting a little bit bigger a little bit bigger but we're gonna get him right back in the water here and uh get a good release on this fish as he's literally chomping my finger go ahead bud <laughs> good lord perfectly executed right there with the war eagle spinnerbait to land our fourth fish of the day got a little tangled up here there we go we're back on board we caught him with the spinnerbait so far and we've caught him with a wacky rig. So we've caught him with a moving bait and a slow, a sm slower bait with the uh, wacky rig. So man, we're catching him. Ooh, I just got hit. I just got hit twice. Or I hit a rock. One or the other. <laughs> but man, let's just keep rocking and rolling here. Slow roll this spinner bait as slow as we can in this corner. Try to hook on a fish. I think that school of baits right over here. I think I can see it right below. Well, oh, nothing there, I guess. Let's give another cast over here where we just caught that last fish. Let it sink down just a second and then reel it in. Nice and slow at a steady pace. These fish like it a little slower here. It is a pond, so if you reel too fast, you're really just flying through. Got to kind of take it easy and let that spinnerbait do its work. As we caught that last one doing that, there's that school of bait over there. A lot of times at this pond where you cast at the school of bait, you normally catch a fish kind of surprised they haven't caught one. Oh well maybe the let's see let's cast 
Can't tell if that's a, that's probably a gar, huh? Yeah, that's probably a gar. Let's pick up the wacky rig again. And we'll probably pick up the chatterbait here soon as well. And uh, get to throwing that around. That's another bait that absolutely smokes them all the time. One of my favorite baits is the chatterbait, no doubt. Let's uh, fix our wacky rig here. It's a little uneven. We're going to put it more to the center here. And uh, make, make sure that action on our wacky rig is as good as it can possibly be. You want the weight to be balanced to give you the right action you need. I think we have one. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I was actually messing with something in my pocket. And uh, I felt a little tug. And I was like, uh-oh. I think we have fish. Dang, bro. Take it easy. Take it easy, brother. All right. All right. <laughs> Give you a second. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Not playing no games today. We'll get you right back in the water, buddy. Just let go of that hook. Another good bass. About the same size as all the other ones, but a beautiful dark largemouth bass we're gonna get him right back in the water here just give him a nice little give him a nice release even though he's not very happy with this whoa he almost swam back into me that's crazy all right let's keep going as y'all saw there man we caught him right in the creek where we actually landed that five pounder that one time right in this area right here but this time we landed a little smaller bass sometimes these bass swim over this edge right into this creek and uh, you'll catch a couple stragglers that aren't in the actual pond but are in the creek and sometimes you can land some good bass that way so man never Never uh, completely rule out the little creeks that are connected to your ponds and stuff like that because, man, you can land fish in those occasionally because sometimes overflowed water and they can swim right over, just like in that case. But let's keep rocking and rolling and let's keep fishing. Got our wacky rig back and ready to rock and roll. We're going to cast right back in this hole again and see if we can't land another fish back to back in this little hole because sometimes, man, these little creek holes and stuff like that really have fish in them, especially after rain like this. For example, that's two in a row. Back to back, and this might be the best one of the day. In the little creek. Yeah, he might be the best one of the day. Uh, I feel like his mouth is a little bit bigger than the rest of them. But man, like I was saying, man, these little creeks actually have bass. Especially over after rain, when the water gets a little... Oh, this one's a little crazy looking. Look at his skin. Look at that. Little interesting looking guy. Still a good bass. Pretty healthy for the most part. And we're going to throw him right back in that water. He's a little skinny, I feel like. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's get him right back in there. Shoop. There we go. So you can see him flare up. That was beautiful. But I don't even know. I think I lost count now. I think we're at five or six now. I don't know, man. Either way, we're absolutely slamming him. Might start throwing some more moving baits, get some different bites. But like I was saying, man, don't sleep on the creeks. Let's cast over here. A lot of little, little action going on with the bait here bait popping and things so we're gonna try to hook onto one maybe we'll be able to catch one maybe not who knows is that a fish i think it is there we go dang he's fighting it Woo! oh he's gassed <laughs> uh, i was trying to just wear him out let him kind of swim around but he'll get tired eventually but <laughs> He got to the point where he was gassed. Oh my gosh, bro absolutely gobbled the wacky rig. Look at that. Dude, he gobbled it. Oh my gosh. Dude was not playing no games with that wacky rig. Oh, it's kind of back there though. Where is it? You can see it back. I can just see the tip of it. Let's pull the actual wacky rig off the hook. There we go. All right, you guys, we got the hook out just like that, man. Hook is out. It's a little deeper in him, a little bit of blood on his tongue. But, man, we're going to get him back in the water. And hopefully we get a nice, healthy swim here. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, nice. Got a little worried there. He was looking a little, uh, not lively, but swam away all good. Just had to let him know he was in the water. Man, let's keep going. Let's keep catching him. And let's get some bigger fish, man. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's try to do it again. I haven't really fished this spot at all today. So we wanted to move down here and kind of switch it up. Looks like that fish nicked me in my finger there. I didn't even notice till I looked down a second ago and I had blood on my shirt. And I was like, uh, what? <laughs> but we're all good. Looking to catch another fish. I wonder if that was the same fish that had my Senko before I lost the Senko. Probably was, honestly. It was like the first cast back here. But we have one. There we go. Well, that's a good, that's a better one. It's a better one for sure. Keep the line tight. 
He's a, oh, maybe not. Oh my gosh, you acrobatic. That's a better one for sure. That's the best fish of the day. Best fish of the day right there. Look at that fish. That is a good one. He didn't look that much better at first, but that's definitely the best fish of the day. Holy mackerel, dude. Slow it down. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, well, his mouth doesn't look that big, but he's definitely the best one of the day for sure. If I had my scale, we'd probably weigh him just to see. Do I not have my scale? I don't think I do. I think it's in my car. Well, either way. Best fish of the day. And uh, that's going to have to do it for our best fish of the day for sure. On the Senko again. And then this new spot. We moved over a little bit. But take a look at this fish. Let's take a look on the camera at this fish. This is best fish of the day. And probably about a pound and a half bass. Beautiful fish. Let's check them out. All right, you guys, this is the best fish of the day by far. Probably a good pound and a half. Let's take a look at this beautiful bass right here. Great fish, and he's a little wider this way, but he's not super thick, but he's definitely longer as well. So he's definitely probably about a pound and a half-ish, I would say. So we're going to say that's the number to beat for today. But nonetheless, a beautiful fish. Let's get out there and try to get on a two, three, four, five pounder. Let's go. All right, you guys, best fish of the day right here. Pretty good bass, pretty wide as you can see there. A good pound and a half bass. Let's get him right back in the water and ready to rock and roll and keep on swimming to see another day. There he goes, nice and steady, beautiful fish. Nice pitch out there. Give that boy a little break. It's a fish. Definitely is. Oh, no way you're kidding. Oh my gosh, you mother, you little boy. Come on, eat it like you want it, dog. Eat it like you want to eat. Eat it like you're hungry. He ate that thing. It was swimming, you can see the leaves moving through the line. He ate it again, I'm pretty sure. Yep, he did. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, come on. What the heck? Oh, with the pile of, look at him, just. <laughs> he doesn't even care. Let's put him in the little pool. All right, well, we got wacky rig, chunk of grass, and another bass. Why did that rhyme? <laughs> oh man, we're just absolutely smacking them, dude. We went to one corner, we went to one ledge, to another ledge, and we're getting the same results from both ledges, dude. We are absolutely destroying these fish. Let's get all this grass off. I don't know why I'm using pliers to get grass off. All right, so I can locate that hook. There's the hook, and man, look at that. Another bass, another beautiful fish. Again, not exactly the size we're looking for, but again, man, another bass to add to the total today. Absolutely catching these bass, destroying these bass, catching them time and time again. And there we go, just like that hook is out. This is probably the smallest one of the day, not gonna lie, but we're just gonna get him right back in his water, right back in his home. Dang, he was like, wait, you're letting me go? I'm out of here. All right, you guys, we're going to head over to this little spot that we've cut the last two fish and make a cast and uh, see if we can get on our third fish. Oh, I just landed on whatever that was. It was kind of like rippling above the water as either a turtle or a fish of some sort, and I just landed on its face. So, I don't know. We'll see if we catch one. Give it a time to sink down. These sinkos take a while to sink down there. Kind of annoying and kind of boring for a while, but, I mean, if it catches a fish and every like couple minutes, it's worth it. Oh my God, oh I found the pothole. Oh, we still have the fish, we still have the fish. Dude, what the heck? That fish went absolutely airborne. I think that's the highest I've ever seen a fish jump and I freaking landed in the, oh yeah, my sock is cooked. Absolutely sloshed. Okay, well. There's another fish. That was probably the most interesting catch of the day. Fish went absolutely airborne and I uh, fell down a hole. That was very eventful. Got him. Whew. Another fish, guys, right there. Got the hook out of that boy. Let's get a good release on this fish and let's get him back in his home. All right, you guys, we're going to get this guy right back where we caught him. We caught him right back in this little area over here. Let's make him look giant. Giant bass. Whoa. Nah, I'm just playing. He's a little dinker. Let's get him right back in there. There he goes. Another acrobatic bass. Look at that drag right real quick. He just, let's just play tug of war, I guess. 
Yeah. All right, enough talk. Let's catch them. Let's go, boys. Another one bites the dust. Dun, dun, dun. Another one bites the dust. Another fish on the day. Got it out. Another good fish on the day, boys. Let's get him right back in the water. Nothing too crazy, nothing too small, nothing too big. Right back in the water where he goes. All right, man, we got a good pitch on that wacky rig here. We have 10% left on the GoPro, so we're gonna fish here for a couple more minutes, change our batteries, and then move over down the bank and start throwing some new baits and some spinner bait, chatter bait, and uh, whatever we can really catch them on. And if the wacky rig is gonna do that, we're just gonna fish the wacky rig, but we're also gonna throw some Texas crawl, Texas rig to crawl that we haven't really got to throw yet, actually. Well, we definitely had the opportunity, I just haven't thrown yet. There was a blow up on the back side over there. I don't know if you can see that from the view on the camera. We just had a blow up back there. Probably gonna head to that direction in just a second here to hopefully find some bigger bass, man, because I know there are bigger fish in here. We've caught them, and I think we're hooked up right now, actually. Ooh, the drag was a little loose there. I don't like that. Oh my, acrobatic bass. Acrobatic bass, keep them pinned. I don't know how good he's hooked. I didn't get a good hook set. Oh, wow. Come on, give me one more jump for the boys. For the boys, for the boys. Give me it. Jump. He's not having it. <laughs> oh, that's best fish of the day. That's best fish of the day. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Best fish of the day. Let's go, baby. That is the one right there. This might break the two pounder. Again, we don't have a scale, but. Oh, right in my finger. Nice. All right. Okay, I actually completely lied. That's not a two pounder. That's like a one. Dang it. He looked a lot better when I pulled him up. My eyes were deceiving me. I thought he was a little thicker, but he's still a great fish. Let's take a look at this one. All right, you guys, another great fish here today. Uh, getting close to the biggest fish of the day, but he's a pretty good one as well. We're gonna get a good release on him and get moving and change spots here and head to a different side of this pond. So stay tuned. We're gonna get a good release on this fish and make a move here and try to get on some bigger bass. Let's go. All right, guys, the school of bait is actually right here. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't catch a bass out of it. It just literally swam right through here. We saw a blow up right there. I don't think that was related to the school of fish but it could have been here we go oh that's a good fish holy moly oh my gosh yo that's a good one holy moly stay on please oh 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 let's go there we go that's a big one that's a big one yep that's the big one we're looking for oh yo let's go no, that's the tank we're looking for, baby. That is a monster fish. Look at that. That is what we were looking for right there. And that school of fish, wait, no way. There's already a hook in this fish's mouth. Here's mine. There's another fish in the back. All right, guys, we're gonna have to save this tank of a fish right here and try to get both hooks out. <sighs> it's time to save this fish. Somebody cut their line off in this fish's mouth. I don't know if it's too deep for saving, but dude, this fish is probably pushing three and a half, four pounder, dude. This thing's an absolute beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, all right, we got our hook out there. Man, there's another hook back in there. I don't know if we can get that, but dang it, dude. Oh yeah, it's deep. Oh man, and it's like a Texas rigged hook. Oh, I wanna get that out, I wanna get that out. Oh, we got it. We got it out, look at that. Whew. Let's still put that hook somewhere. We got that, we, we just saved this fish. We straight up saved this fish's life. I'm gonna put it right here for now, but I'm gonna come right back to that and throw that away. Dude, yes, we just saved this fish's life. Dude, absolute chump. Look at this fish. Woo no doubt, biggest fish of the day right here, you guys. Let's go. This is a beautiful fish, man. Probably pushing I mean, he's definitely a three pounder at least, but dang, this is a beautiful fish. His eyes are coming out of his head a little bit. Beautiful fish. Let's take a look at this fish on the Canon camera. The biggest fish of the day right here, you guys. An absolute chumper, man. Probably a good three and a half pounder. We got our hook out and we saw another hook that was still in his mouth deeper down and we actually got that hook out to save this bass, man. So absolutely amazing. Take a look at this absolute beautiful fish right here, you guys. An absolute chump. Let's get him back in the water and get a good safe release on this fish so we can see it another day. Let's go. All right, you guys, what a beautiful fish that was to move our big bass of the day from about a pound to a pound and a half to three to three and a half pounds there on a beautiful fish that we had 
our hook in it that we got out no problem and there was actually another hook, hook deeper in its throat i don't know if y'all saw that on the gopro but we got that out as well and got that out safely most importantly and i went to release this fish with the camera i'm using right now and it was just like i was recording i just didn't press the record button down hard enough apparently to get the footage but i can guarantee you and promise you that fish swam away perfectly fine which was absolutely great to see because honestly i didn't know how that fish was going to respond to having two hooks pulled out of his face but responded well great way to catch those two fish it was absolutely amazing but we're gonna make a move now to the other side of the pond and try to get on some new fish because we've probably caught 13 14 maybe even 15 fish in just this corner in the couple spots we've been fishing in this area it's been absolutely awesome so we're gonna move over to the back side of this pond and fish different banks and different pockets and try to get on some more fish some bigger fish and some great fish hopefully we can bump that big bass up to about four four and a half pounds let's see what we can do let's go All right, you guys, we're here at the next spot on the other side of the pond here. We're going to throw around this spinnerbait some and probably go a little bit of Wacky Rig Warrior wacky rig warrior on them like we were in the other corner to see if there's any fish over here, and hopefully there are. All right, man, I guess we have to go a little bit of wacky rig warrior on them because they ain't eating nothing else. We had one eat the spinnerbait earlier, but since then, we haven't gotten them on anything else other than the wacky rig. So we're going to see if we can't throw this thing around a little bit and catch them in some areas we haven't caught them before. Oh! <laughs> Well, we had another little one right there, but uh, he came right off. I'm glad that wasn't a big one, though. I mean, losing a big one would have really sucked right there. But just a little dinker, nothing, nothing to stress about. If I saw a giant one just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh right there on the bank and come off, I'd probably uh, call it a day and go cry. <laughs> that would suck, bro. It is a fish. He has it. Oh, my gosh. That might be a good one. That is a pretty good one. Oh, well. He's a decent one. He's a decent one. More numbers on the day here. He's got some dark melanation on his lips. Check out that fish. Oh, got some weight on him for a little guy. Just like that, man. Hook is out. Look how dark some of the... Look at his top lips. Pretty dark. His bottom lips right here. Dark. I'm literally getting black on my finger from rubbing it. That's crazy. All right, well, let's get him back in the water, man. Pretty good fish right there. Another one. He was absolutely slapping... Oh, he's gonna dance he's gonna dance Woo! yes sir all right you guys you've been catching them on the wacky rig all morning it's actually been pretty silly how uh how often we've been catching them on this wacky rig it's been pretty often we even are now on the opposite side of the pond still catching them so i mean that's always awesome to see some different sizes different patterns different colors even as you saw that one had uh sections of its lips that were like super black and then we've had other fish that have had two hooks in their face and then we've had really small fish all sorts of things got another one that might be good another little good one this one looks like he has melanation on his lip too yeah it is i wonder if they're like eating something that's just dark I wonder if it's like the bait or something. It might not be a melanation thing. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. It might just be their skin tone. Popped it right out. I think he actually threw my Senko. Oh, almost tripped over my line. Yeah, he threw my Senko. All right, we're going to get a good release on this fish. Actually, a pretty decent fish. Pretty decent one. Not the worst one of the day. Pretty solid, actually. Beautiful looking fish. Very healthy as well. I'm going to get him right back in the water. There he goes. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for today's video, man. I was grinding my life away over there to try to catch a final fish to call it for the video. But, man, I just could not catch one to close off the video. But I could catch 20 more before that. So that's just how it goes, man. The bite just completely shut off. But other than that, man, we had an absolute amazing day out here. It was a great time, a lot of fish to be caught, and some good fish as well. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know what y'all thought in the comments and what y'all want me to do next. And without further ado, make sure you please like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time when we catch more bass, peace out.